All right. So, as you can see, I am not playing uh, The Messenger, a game that I've been trying to play through for several months now. It's kind of hard to do a completion run when you're playing basically once a, a week. But I love that I have that in place because, you know, it keeps me... Um, you know, it, it makes me carve out some time to play, which I probably wouldn't do otherwise. And I have such a crazy backlog of games, uh, among which this right here is one of them. Momodora, if I'm saying it right. Reverie Under the Moonlight. This is one I've been meaning to play for quite some time. I figured it's the fall. It's that time of year. Spooky season. Uh, October, you know, with Halloween around the corner. So uh, usually around this time, I like to do some more, you know, kind of spookier themed um, streams, and so I figured I'd change it up tonight. So I'll return back to The Messenger and hopefully finish that and the extra DLC, but uh, for tonight, um, I'm going to try my hand at Momodora. Um, this is also a Metroidvania, which, um, you know, sort of action um, platformer, um, with, uh, you know, you, you uh, sort of power up and get to new places and that kind of thing. There's a lot of different, uh, you know, derived from, of course, the classics Metroid and Castlevania from back in the day on the NES and uh, really built upon strongly with uh, Symphony of the Night, um, which debuted on the PS1 and the Saturn. Um, but um, anyways, this looks like uh, this could be some fun Metroidvania. Um a fun Metroidvania, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a crack at it and see how I do. Well, it's, I was just uh, tooling around with it earlier. I'm going to start fresh here. Let's just go with the standard settings. And I love the very basic art style of this. So I'm um, sort of a I'd call it a 12-bit, you know, sort of between 8 and 16. Fighting using a leaf. Okay, so the obligatory um, tutorial. Oops. Dang it. I used up whatever that bellflower was. Satisfying impact there. Did it save? Confirm. Yeah, I guess it did. Okay. What am I supposed to do here?
I got poisoned? Ah, oh, jeez. Not good. I feel bad, uh, hurting these... Little girl antagonists. Even if they are trying to kill me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, this looks like a Metroidvania type of place. I want to come back to. Maybe want to have a morphing ball. Uh... Oh boy. Achievement unlocked. You died. Well, at least it uh, has me totally f full in terms of my health. Let me go back to the... you could jump onto your arrows. What was that? Oh, the bomb. Oof. any kind of uh, um, evade button. Wait, that's... Oh, I stand corrected. How handy that is. Instead of trying to do some kind of weird jump. Oof. In the face. Maybe this wasn't the best choice for uh, spooky per se, um, but it looks like it has like spooky-esque elements, and they usually start you off kind of light in the beginning, just to orient you a bit, and then you know, all hell gets unleashed. Oh, jeez. No! Alright. Well, like the messenger, this one is a bit challenging. Um, thankfully, I don't think there seems to be any life uh, system.
don't even know what collecting these things do does. Oh, got it. Oh, I gotta time this. There we go. to be facing him just yet. Uh, I'll go to the right next time. Ah, poisons, really? anyway. Confused with the uh, fairy dust or whatever floating around, thinking that something that can hurt me or that I need to collect. Oh boy. seem merciful enough I'm 
glad that they don't tack on um, ammunition management too. Alright. Oh, I just noticed in the background here there's uh, like some millipedes milling about. See what I did there? Uh, oof. Oh, jeez. Oh, they respawn anyways. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. you to throw bombs at me. What? Uh oh. Looks like I need to do a... Oh, wait. Maybe. Can I do the evasive thing? No. Yep. Looks like I need to get a morph ball effect or something. fight. of his. Come on, swing it at me. Oh, not like that. Dang. Okay, so we broadcast that little white ring. Oh! 
Oh, jeez. gonna give me anything like a glowing orb of power or upgrade ability nothing wow that's a cool little effect hey it's Jack Skellington that spooky vibe. Sweet. Well, their voice sound effect is pretty shrill. I don't know what a crystal seed does. Fairy tear? Maybe it'll explain if I... Hold on. Alright. So I guess that's what the things I'm collecting are. Some kind of money. Oh, dang. That about cleared me out. Oof. Definitely feels very Symphony of the Night esque. Karst Crest. Okay. Oof.
Whoa. was weird huh very odd my uh, controller decided not to operate and it's pretty fully juiced oh gosh oof okie dokie then thing doesn't have to reintroduce itself every time. my day how are you and I know that uh, greetings and salutations is is a, a reference to um, I believe a movie from the 80s where one of the characters uh, would greet people that way Ready for the weekend? Maximum chill. That's my language. All about some maximum chill. So yeah, the greetings and salutations I feel like is from a movie featuring Christian Slater. Maybe Heathers? I could be wrong. Oof. Dang. How do I get up there? Oh, that's right. Yes, there it is. Heathers. Alright. It's like, whatever happened to Christian Slater? Uh, he was in the Willow reboot, which was not so great. Had high hopes for it. It had some kind of neat things about it, but eh, couldn't hold a candle to the original. Troll scene. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, honestly, a lot of it was fairly forgettable, which is just so unfortunate. I had such high hopes. Um, and I was really trying to give it a chance. Um, I mean, oh, yes, I'm thinking back now. Okay, yeah, there was a nice little... Um, they subverted expectations in a way, which was made for some, a good humorous moment. 
Man, these witches need to chill. Oh no! They removed it? Dang. Well, I'm sure there'll be other opportunities. Maybe they're trying to forget it, that it exists or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, Morbin time. <laughs> yeah, I had no um, no compulsion to see uh, Morbius at all. And honestly, the I, I only recently just saw a uh, trailer for um, what's the new Marvel franchise? Um, Craven, maybe the something or other. Did not look good. I mean, they're going for straight gore, which I guess is fine, but uh, I don't know. I mean, the only anti-hero with you know some gore that where that really worked was uh, Blade. And I know they're trying to re revamp that franchise. Dang, I should probably not keep going in this direction. Maybe I need to double back here. Should I warp? Maybe? Hmm. I probably shouldn't have warped. That's okay. Just save it here and... Yeah, I need to get some kind of ability. Speaking of, uh, you know, sequels that are that are bad, I just recently watched the. Uh, I finished up the, the the modern Halloween trilogy and was not very impressed with that. I can't remember which. One. Oh, that's right. I can't go there yet. Maybe fight that dude now. Maybe I need to warp to him. Oh, cool. Mucho cashola. <sighs> Can't get up there, so I guess I'll have to warp. That's awesome. I love uh, sharing things with the littles. If they like what we like, they don't have to like what we like, but when they do, it's it's awesome. I love traditions like that. So cool. I remember watching Slashers with my pops too back in the day, and um, one in particular stands out, and it's a it's a rare one. You don't see it like broadcasted or 
on streaming services or, or anything. I uh, probably should just uh, break down and and buy it on Blu-ray or something. It's called Without Warning. I remember seeing it as a kid. Jack Palance is in it. Um, he was in City Slickers and he was known for like westerns and things from back in the day. But um, the thing I remembered about it as a kid was what I called pizza monsters. And this, oddly enough, the guy that played the Predator in the original Predator movie, um, oof, he played the monster in Without Warning. You know, it's just like a tall creature. And anyways, it would throw these little disc things with like tentacles and claws that would like latch on to things. It's pretty cool, actually. I'm sure it doesn't hold up, though, if I watched it today. Oh, nice. Right, let me see if I can warp here. Wait, what? Why won't it let me warp? Okay. I guess that's just... Need to... Huh, weird. Okay. Yeah, I was born in the 70s and child of the 80s. So, um, you know, uh, a lot of things I vividly remember, like watching Star Wars at a drive-in movie theater was an incredible experience. I think I was about all of four and they re-released it. And um, that's weird that you can't warp. Um, I remember Simbed and the Eye of the Tiger was on one screen, Star Wars was on the other, and if one didn't hold my attention, I would shift shift my attention to the other screen. Dang. Alright, I need to start over here. Yeah, and seeing Star Wars... Like in the on the big screen as a kid, it just, just blew my my mind. I mean, it's incredible. So I've been a fan ever since. This level is kind of ominous without the. Uh, any kind of music. I guess it's sort of ambient sort of music, but... Dang it. I was prepared for him this time. Symphony of the Night, yep. Such an utter classic. That's one of my all-time favorites. So good. I mean... It, it hasn't really been... I mean, nothing has surpassed it. I mean, it's pretty much the best Castlevania game. Ooh, jeez, get out of there! Oh, dang it. Oh, this is challenging. Um, wait, don't I already have this? Oh, okay. So, sure. All right, let me save it. Nice. Symphony of the Night is one of those games. It's just so replayable. I mean, just to re-experience the incredible score and tight gameplay and um, yeah, the uh, the cutscenes or whatever the 
there <laughs> the voice acting not the greatest but that's part of its charm it's like man what a terrible thing or whatever have at you <laughs> what is a man that's what it is Did you get into, um, ah, shoot, uh, blood, whatever, um, bloodstain? These witches are pissing me off. Okay. Uh oh. Die. I don't know what you are, but I'm just gonna attack you. Okay, so as a child of the 80s, uh-oh, you might appreciate it, it only had um, bloodstains. It's made by the creator of um, Castlevania, the OG creator. You should check it out. Um, I might play it in a, on a future stream. Um, I have it. I, I just haven't played through it yet. But yeah, he uh, did the did a Kickstarter. Um, whoa! What? No! Jeez! Yeah, so he did a Kickstarter that which uh, I donated to, and um, yeah, I got like a autograph big old collector's box and posters and all kinds of things. Yeah! You gotta check it out, man. Got Bellflower. Okay. Oh, wait. Maybe I can open this door now? There we go. <gasps> Come on! No! <laughs> Oi! That was foul. This game, man, my god. No, um, was that in, the, I think that playing as Miriam was in the Sega Saturn edition. Did they not have it on the PlayStation version, if I remember? But I know you could probably do that in the like, I have it on my Xbox. Um, take that spectral wolf. Gosh, I hate this section. Oof. Oh, this douche nozzle again. Oh, sorry. Um... I thought Miriam was the character from Symphony of the Night, like an alternative character you could play as, but I might be crossing wires here and thinking of a different Castlevania. But uh, but yeah, so I have not played it at all, but I do want to get to it eventually. <gasps> oh, jeez, I didn't even see that guy. Oh, boy. Make this stop. Uh oh. Can I not go through here? Make what stop? Give me that money. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh boy. 
give me a save point, why don't you? So, Maria, that's it, yeah. And uh, the creator uh, could not directly tie in any kind of Castlevania references or anything because that's owned by Konami. So he had to kind of do his own Castlevania without calling it Castlevania. Okay, I'm going to go back and save now. Go! Oh! Don't shoot me! Oh boy! Whew! Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, I have that, I have that. Alright, cool, cool. Let's just go straight this way. Uh oh. This can't be good. <laughs> well, that's certainly an expression. <laughs> you talking about uh, Bloodstain? Looks like some outsider missionary. Key he he. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh no, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh jeez. Oh, what's happened? Oh jeez. Oh no. Ah. I get the attacker boobies. What? Holy crap. Oh no. No. What is happening? Don't, 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 don't. Oh, seriously? Wow, how is that fair? Oh, hey. Wait, maybe I don't go to that boss just yet. I don't know. Or maybe there's a way out of that attack. Oops. Uh oh. Cursed. What is this, a bullet hell shooter? My god. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. What the? I can't believe this game is making you beat up on some boobies. That's weird. Oh my god. Oh! Dang. I did pretty good that time. Well, 
I'm glad, Sir Make My Day, that, um, <laughs> yes, I'm glad I, um, reunited you with an old friend, so to speak, uh, in spirit. It's booby whack in time. Why is she laughing when I'm. Oh my god. I just. Jeez. Ah. Oh. No, 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 not this. This was like unavoidable. Oh, huh. Maybe not. Hui. Lubella, the witch of DK. Oh boy. No! I could have avoided that easily. Yes. You little pest. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Oy. Oh boy. So now what? I do not want to jump into this water and sink like a stone. I gotta find a freaking safe. Yep, yeah, there it is. Boom. Whoo! All right. Now let's jump over here and see. We okay. I called it. This is why we save. Oh, oh. I wish enemies could hurt each other. Oh, my gosh. Save are these? Oh gosh, no! Nah. I'm just gonna keep going. Let's get a little bit of health. There we go. Uh oh. Oh, thought you were gonna be useful and give me something. A knightess, really? Can't you just be a knight? Jeez, you were so unhelpful. Uh, wait a minute. I don't think I can go underwater just yet. <sighs> Dang it. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Nope. Mm. 
Well, that's going to be tricky to navigate. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, shoot. Didn't see the spikes there. Well, I did, but I was kind of hoping that they would uh, not be hurting me. Curse of the Moon and Curse of the Moon 2. Great choices. My gosh. Those are great homages. 8-bit eight, eight to the 8-bit days, for sure. Oh, my God. I'm so happy for you. Like, you're going to have a ton of fun. But Curse, uh, Curse of the Moon and its sequel are... Um, like 8 bit on steroids, you know, like I think they do little tricks that you know the NES couldn't do back in the day, sort of thing. Uh, but they do a damn good job with those. Um, so let me show you something, okay? So look at the camera in a second here. I'm gonna, it's just within reach, so I'm just gonna grab this here. This is one of the um. Uh, collector's edition, I don't know if you call it a collector's edition, but limited run games put this out for This is Curse of the Moon 2. Look at that classic Konami-esque art and it's, you know, roughly the size of um, an NES game. I mean, look at the back. Just incredible. Um, and I have, that's for the second one. Let's see, I got the first one right here. Let me check that out. I don't know why it's so janky on my camera here, but uh, super cool. Had to get those. Um, straight off the shelf from the 80s, totally. Um, Limited Run put those out. Uh, they're pretty popular, I think, for good reason. Um, Alright, I'm going to see if I can navigate to the next um, save point and if not I may have to call it a night got some delicious Indian food waiting for me um, oh boy oh no 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 okay here we go ah oh, there we go into the drink with you, old crone. Oh no. What? Magnet stone, what the heck does that do? Okay. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, oh no. Go next. Uh, can I go down here? Oh, well, how about that? You can go underwater. Well, that's deceiving. Apparently there's some DLC for the for Bloodstain as well. Um, I don't know that it's huge per se, but um, something about the creators, who they call Iga, Igavania. He's, he's like Iga something is his name, but he just goes by Igavania or, or something. I don't know. Um, okay, I guess I can only go down. Oh, what just happened? Uh, yes, the backpack. That's it. What the?
people telling me to run away. Nobody giving me any, like, here, take this, and... <laughs> I would love, like, a new weapon, or power-up, or something. Oh, My little buddy is in here. My black cat. Sebastian. What the... Oof. I need to find a save point. Ugh. Uh, nothing secret over there. Oh. There we go. Oh, can I? Yeah, I can jump down. Oh, no! Give me those! Don't disappear! Sweet. There we go. I'll let you out in a minute, Sebastian. Oh, this dude. Like a quadruple jump or something, or like a super jump. Okay. Mm Whoa! What is that thing? Ooh. Timing. There we go. Come on, give me a freaking save point. Okay, but these guys are pretty harmless as long as you catch them. What the? Oh, interesting. I like that uh, reflection effect. That uh, reminds me of um, Castlevania Bloodlines. It's that level where um, it has that effect and it's so freaking cool on the Genesis. What they squeezed out of the Genesis on that game was pretty incredible. Ooh, jeez! No. Killer underwater water mills here. Ugh. Just give me a save point. Oh, no. Lots, of course. Dang it. Oh, I wonder. No, no secret. Okay. I like this ambient music. Very sort of foreboding. School of fish, ghost fish, maybe. this already then come on save oh yes perfect alrighty then I think that's gonna be the end of the tonight's stream for make my day thanks for popping in it's always good to see you um i hope you enjoy the hell out of those uh newfound metroidvanias um i'll expect a full report at some point <laughs> and um yeah enjoy the rest of your weekend um i'm of course gonna upload to youtube where you can find my other uh retronathan streams 
under the Geeks Like Us umbrella. Um, yeah, absolutely. Anytime, man. Um, so, um, I am probably going to play this again, perhaps, but I'm open to suggestions. Anything spooky-esque uh, will do. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll review my um, my inventory and see if there's some, some other, you know, fun, spooky stuff I could play. All right, so I'm going to peace out and get some Indian food. And um, as always, stay geeky and hope to see you at the next one.